What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mr. Quatch and today we got a brand new video going over the new leaks thanks to Nordex Blazing. So what as you can see just, just from the beginning we already have Haku on the screen so the way it is let's actually scroll down all the new characters are right here so we have this person's name that I can't remember but it's actually written right here Kushimaru Kurb yeah whatever your name is Kuriarare. That is way too difficult to do. You are now known as Needle Person. We have Six Star Needle Person, Six Star Han, who is most likely going to be a Ninja Road unit, Blazing Bash Zabuza, Blazing Bash Haku. So these are the new things. So it seems like what they're doing is, well, I mean, you could already tell to an extent that all the Blazing Bash units are from part one. So that's what they're doing in. A way of reusing the older characters is from kind of just re-releasing the part one characters. So we really have it like Blazing Bash units are pretty much the first time we've seen re-releases of characters. And now that we have Haku and Zabuza, they can pretty much go with anything next. I'm just saying, give us a Blazing Bash, Shino and Kiba. Do it. Do it. Well, before we move on forward, let's go take a look at all their artwork. One, two. The artwork isn't that bad. On. I know Berto's gonna like this. Here we got Haku. One, two, three. Yo, that that awakened artwork is really nice. Oh, that's okay. If you see that, you see the Zabuza pose, and then you take a look at his. So that's pretty cool. If that is the same pose. Now I'm trying to see. Okay, here. That's Haku. No, that's not the same pose. I was just wondering why they didn't... I thought it was something they were trying to do. Okay. Actually, I just want to take a look at that for a second. That's nice. That's... I like it. I dig it. Okay, now let's take a look at the stats. So the thing is, none of this is translated right now, and it, I'll go over this in complete detail when it comes out in, you know, like, six hours or so. So in the meantime, this is just kind of a quick overview leaks type-ish video, so you guys can take a look at what's going on. So this is a uh, needle person for an emergency mission, short range, not bad, right? Like 1700 stats all around. Looks like body damage reduction, 10% most likely, maybe 20 if it's if we're lucky. But it's a five cost of jutsu that we don't know what it does. Seems to be AOE. What is that? Is it AOE? Oh no, oh, wait, oh dumb okay aoe 2.6 times attack to everyone 60 percent chance of something right for four turns so it's either attack reduction slip damage something you know jutsu seal chakra reduction something and then it's a six times to a single target and it seems like nine times if a certain condition is met doesn't seem like anything spectacular it almost oh it's probably slip damage up just from looking at the dupe abilities so it looks like 60% chance of slip damage, it'll probably go up to 80% chance. Alright. PvP stats. Uh, really bad, but no one uses emergency missions for PvP. Ninja Road. Han, this is long range. Uh, not bad. It looks like he has two attack ops and then three... What is that? Chance of receiving attack reduction down? I... I can't remember off the top of my head. If anyone knows that, just feel free to comment. But what does he have? So roughly 1,700 attack. And then he's got single target 4.6 times damage. What is that? 4.6 times 1,700. Okay, 8k on his first Jutsu. And then uh, 9.2 times 1,700. Looks like AoE 15,000, almost 60,000. Well, if you include... Uh, Attack pills, then it should be around 16,000. That should be pretty solid, right? And most likely it's going to be the Jinchuriki Jutsu with him like running over people in his like goat form. I don't know, whatever it is, deer, unicorn. Here we have Zabuza. This Zabuza seems nuts, right? If you guys notice, this is a long range 2184 attack. This is, of course, including the pills. Oh, yes, I was wrong. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
2184 with the dupe ability. So these are both 200 or 1 100, 1 300 or 1 150, 1 250, whatever it is, right? They add up to to 400 plus 100. So his initial attack should be 1684, and it can jump up 500 extra with all these dupe abilities. And this is his PVE version. This is what I was talking about in my other video, if you guys watched it, where I was referencing why you should summon on Blazing Bash units. It's because these guys are busted in PvE, but no one uses them for that. Now he has three dodge. I'm going to assume they're all uh, 5%. Maybe this one's a 10% for a total of 20% dodge. Uh, but, you know... Oh, no, no, no. So two of them are actual dodges. One of them seems like it is a... Because you can see the little shield symbol over here. So this is most likely uh, ignore dodge. Which is, ooh, another ignore dodge, I'll take it. There's a lot of text on here, I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what these does. But it seems like 4.3 times attack AoE, and over here is 6, 13 times attack single target with a lot of shit that can happen. So if we were just to take a look, right? God damn it, wrong, wrong page. Okay, so 2184 times 4.3, we're talking about AoE 10k damage for, essentially 10k damage for 4 chakra, and then 13 times attack, 30k single target, and then it does a bunch of shit, which, like I said, once again, we'll figure out once we, uh, you know, we get the full, full information. Now, this is his PvE version, let me repeat. His PvP version is a drop of, well, if you look at it this way, technically the stats stay almost the same, right? It's just that he doesn't have the dupe abilities, so he goes down like a lot of health and like a hundred attack, because these are always including the pills. Now he has two self healings, most likely going to be a hundred or two hundred each, so like self healing four hundred a turn type of thing. A chance of reducing chakra to like chance of using no chakra 10 or 20 percent on his normal jutsu and then two speed ups or 20 plus 20 speed now his jutsu is now i, I can't even tell you <laughs> anymore i'm just looking at this and i have no idea what's going on <laughs> okay let's take a look at his pvp stats like the, the ninja world clash stats itself about 31k hp Almost 3,000 attack, 342 speed. So he is up there. But you just gotta remember that this is including pills and everything. So this is maxed out, right? So he's, what, higher than Hashirama, I believe? I can't remember Hashirama's speed off the top of my head. But I believe it's higher than Hashirama. And in order of speed of Blazing Bash unit, it now goes uh, Gara, Hinata, Zabuza, then Haku, then Hashirama. And we'll get to Haku. I could be wrong about Haku and Hashirama, though. And then his jutsus just do stuff, right? So it looks like it's going to be 4.9 times attack AoE with this. So let's take a look at that, right? 2, 8, 1, 3 times 4.9. Looks like he's been doing 14k AoE. And the thing is, now that you see so many Hashiramas and Lees, Zabuza is going to be nuts. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Zabuza's. 4 Chakra, almost able to one-shot Lee, not Hashirama, right? Well, I think they have roughly the same amount of health. The thing is, Hashirama has damage reduction if he has the dupe, which is not that hard to get on him. So you, you might be seeing a lot of that. Now, once again, all these, they have so many extra effects on here that it's like, until we see the full thing, we won't know. But this is just, I'm just telling you pure damage-wise, right? Let's take a look at Haku. Okay. Short range, those are his stats. It looks like he has a mobilization on his, just from the, the two dupes right there. Prolonged status effect and HP up. So let's take a look. He has plus 200 HP. Looks like 50% chance of a mobilization for one turn. And which will probably go up to 70% chance or possibly 80% chance if these are both 15% mobilization ups. Now, and this will most likely extend the duration by one, so it'll be like two turn, 80% chance of immobilization, which seems kind of busted, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just assume it's 70% immobilization with the with the abilities. But then again, you gotta remember the typing. This is Haku as a 
Wisdom. This is Bravery. I'm stupid. This is a Bravery type. So this is coming in as the Hinata Slayer. So if we go take a look at... Oh wait, I just realized that I'm dumb and I have to take a look at the PvP stats. But once again, this is the PvE version. So let's hop over to this PvP version. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So none of that stuff. It's probably like 50% chance of mobilization for one turn. 3.3 times AoE with... There we go. Yeah, now, now it does a lot of different stuff. So now, now I can't say what the hell it does. But it looks like there's two speed ups for plus 40 speed. And then this is the same ability that Kakashi has. So it should be... If it's the same exact as Kakashi, it's 40% increased damage to wisdom types. Which is nuts. So let's go take a look at essentially what her damage, his damage would be if you're reversing a Hinata, right? So you would start off with 3, 6, 4, 2. Multiply that by the 4.8 multiplier. Alright, times 4.8. And then it'd be that times 1.4 for the dupe ability. That times 1.5. So if this is correct and it could be 100% wrong like i said this is just me guesstimating it hinata would do sorry haku would do almost 37000 damage to hinata which is almost a one hit ko it's not exactly and if hinata has the dupe it is not 100% so just keep that in mind now i could be 100% wrong and this could not be 40% i'm just basing it off of kakashi's that's really it and that is everything we have currently. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.